Raucous celebrations turning into riots on the streets of Paris after a shocking victory by left-wing parties. Police firing tear gas and demonstrators climbing a statue in the iconic Place de la République Square. In Lyon, France's third largest city, clashes breaking out between leftists and supporters of the far-right national rally, who were expected to win big, but came in third place. Ushering in an unprecedented period of political uncertainty for France, less than three weeks before hosting the Olympic Games. Is there anyone in France who knows what's going to happen next? Nobody knows what's going to happen next, I fear, and uh, not even the president, not even the person who uh, some stage is going to be nominated uh, as prime minister. French parliament now roughly evenly divided among far-right members, centrists and leftists, leaving nobody with a governing majority. Under divided government, President Macron, a centrist, will have to share power with a new prime minister, presumably from the left. Should French citizens be expecting gridlock, at least for the short term? Probably they, uh, probably they should be, because it's not clear at all what kind of new government can be formed. The far right kept out of power in part by a last-minute move by centrist and leftist parties to team up and create a firewall against the far right. Hundreds of candidates dropped out, leaving just a single opponent for the far right in each race. On the streets of Paris, a mix of relief and frustration. I also wanted to leave France because I didn't want to stay in a country where uh, Racism, xenophobia can be openly. How much do you think will change after last night's results? Nothing will change. I think nothing will change in France because um, the country will not be um, uh, manageable because there's several parties and nothing will change. This is the same people with the same ideas. But for the far right, defeat also came with glimmers of hope. The national rally has worked for years to rebrand itself and shed its reputation for being anti-immigrant and extreme. And it seems to have worked. Though they didn't snag the majority, the party and its allies made huge gains, picking up more than 50 seats. In the small village of Garganville, voter Jean-Marc Follier tells me support for the national rally is exploding in rural France. There's this perception that the far right is anti-immigrant. How do you feel about that? It's not anti-immigrant because we need immigration in our country. but. What we don't want is illegal immigrants who get benefits without working. The National Rally's 28-year-old leader, Jordan Bardella, vowing to fight on. Saying, the wave carrying us is a strong one and will lead us to power. Josh Letterman joins us tonight from Paris. So, Josh, I know you mentioned this in your report, but will this affect the Olympics in any way? That's a big question. A lot of people here in France are asking, too, Tom. It is true that we don't know who's going to be in key government positions like the interior minister who has been overseeing security for the Olympics. Now, Prime Minister uh, President Macron has said he's keeping his prime minister in place a little longer, which may mean he intends to have a caretaker government stay in position through the Olympic Games. And we also heard from the Olympic Organizing Committee saying, look, the preparations for this have been done months in advance. Everything is all set. That barring some dramatic unforeseen development, there should be no impact on the Olympics going off without a hitch, Tom. I, I guess, Josh, what I was alluding to also was security, right? If, if, God forbid, something happens in Paris, will that government by then have figured everything out of who's in charge of what? Well, frankly, we don't know that. We don't know whether the current ministers will stay in place through that period of time uh, or whether President Macron is going to be under such pressure, uh, frankly, by the left, who just won massively uh, to put their people in charge, that there will actually be a turnover and we could have brand new people uh, in charge of government ministries just at a time when something potentially could uh, take place. And so uh, right now we have little clarity about exactly what France's government is going to look like just three weeks from now when those Olympic Games get underway. All right, Josh Letterman coming to us just outside the Arc de Triomphe there. Josh, great to see you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.